Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. Back for the 51st episode, my friends. Last episode, episode 50 of course, was a map download and world tour episode. So go ahead, check it out if you haven't already. And if you guys are new to the series from that episode, then welcome. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic stay. Got lots of things to do on this one. We really, really do. So let's get to it. So the first thing I wanted to do is address a couple things I either missed or got wrong in the last episode first of all i totally missed out on showcasing the wither skeleton farm we've got in our world guys I, I i totally forgot to do that my bad so yeah the wither skeleton farm for the most part it is done but we need to increase its efficiency by like you know placing down lava or just getting rid of all of the spawnable areas uh, surrounding it and then yeah we'll have a proper a proper good with a skeleton farm but yeah it's going to take a while to uh, get that up to scratch but you know, functionally speaking, it is done. But anyways, uh, onwards to the second thing. I said that zero tick farms are not possible in the 1.16 snapshot. I was wrong. I was very wrong, guys. They are very much still in effect. And in fact, in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make a zero tick bamboo farm, okay? That is what I want to do. The reason I want to do that is because I don't want to make an industrial sized bamboo farm. I really don't. A zero tick farm... While it is technically an exploit of a bug, it will very much do the job in terms of fueling all of these furnaces here. So yeah, we've got our super smelter or, you know, auto smelter here. But it's not really automatically going because the rates of the bamboo farm from the green machine is just so slow. It is too slow, ladies and gentlemen. So what we need to do is make a zero tick bamboo farm. Now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to make it a little bit further away from the hub because it's noisy. It is very, very noisy, guys. There's a lot of piston pushing and retracting acting noises that go on and I've measured that if you are more than 16 blocks away from a piston it will not make a noise so basically what I'm saying is we need to go 16 blocks over in this direction I've already got the hoppers in so all we need to do is count 16 blocks or however much I tell you what let's do maybe a bit more than 16 blocks actually just to just to ensure that nothing happens, you know, just to ensure that there's no sound or anything like that. Uh, it might even be an idea if we head back up here a sec. Might be an idea to, like, get the coordinates. So the furthest away we are here is what? Negative 122. So we need to go to negative 1... O2 if we're gonna go 20 blocks away to do this thing. So yeah, all right, let's do it Alrighty guys, so here we are back in action This is going to be the room in which we build this uh, zero tick farm But there's something a little bit more interesting. I wanted to show you I did originally try to do it 20 blocks away This is 20 blocks away from the minecart rail over there Okay, that is like what 40 blocks away and for whatever reason I discovered that when I tried to make the zero tick farm here it just didn't work. It's really, really weird. Now, let's go ahead and give it a bit of a go. So, we've got the dirt rather like that. Uh, sticky pistons either side of that. And then, as far as I know, we need to go ahead and uh, dig out a little bit of a void down there. Okay. We need to place in piston. And then, another piston in the floor. And then, we need ourselves... Uh, actually, let's go and put a lever down here. Because I don't want this to be powered at the moment. Uh, but, yeah. We have ourselves a regular piston. Block. Regular piston. And same over here. Regular block. And then, another piston. Okay. And then, let's give this thing a go. Does it work? I'm so con... Okay. I'm really confused right now. Because, for whatever reason... I tried this a little bit ago, and it just didn't work. Okay, so that's not working. As you can see, the middle keeps occasionally shifting. But then we put that back in. Okay, maybe not. Put this one back in. All right, so that one works. So this one doesn't fire at all. So that means we don't need it. Okay, right. What about the piston down here? Is that firing? No, it's not. How weird. Like, sometimes the top two are the ones that fire. Sometimes it's the bottom two that fire. Like, what even is this, bro? Oh, man. I, I don't think I've been this confused in a while. Okay. Right. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, we are going to make ourselves another lever. I'm going to make this exact thing over in that direction. And we're going to see what happens. Though, I swear to God, I'm not going mad here, guys. I'm not going mad. The Zero Tick Farm was, like, playing havoc with me earlier. And now it's just like, oh, hey, I'm going to decide to work now. Like, what the heck, dude? 
I'm so confused. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and replicate this design over here because I, I just... I don't understand. I just... I legitimately don't understand what's going on. Like, honestly, like a little bit ago, it just wasn't working. Ah, I don't have any sticky pistons, though. Alright, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, siphon these ones off and give it another go. So there's one of them. There's the second one. Uh, so yeah, if you guys don't know how to make a zero tick farm already, then uh, there you go. I'm doing it twice for you. Huh? I'm doing it twice for you. Enjoy. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So piston, regular block, piston. Okay. Same over here. Uh, pi oh, wait, that goes underneath. Uh, boom. There we go. Regular block, piston. There we go. Okay. And press it. Okay, it works. Right. Is there any of these that aren't firing? Okay, bottom right isn't firing, which means we can get rid of it. What about this one down here? Okay, it's still firing. Yeah, look at that. It's still working perfectly. Even though it's only got two pistons. Like, it's the top two this time that are firing. Whereas over here, really, really strangely, <laughs> it was like this uh, top left and bottom right one. Oh, man, to tell you that I'm confused is a complete and utter understatement. All right, well, uh, now that we've established that this actually works back over that way, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and get this thing uh, put back in place, and then, yeah, we can do awesome stuff. So, boop, you go back in there, and finally, boop, you go back in there. Oh, wait, 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 wrong, wrong place. There we go, like that. Okay, and then, okay, and that all works. Brilliant. This is such weird redstone behavior. Now, obviously, uh, I did mention before this is a bug exploit. There's a very real possibility that it will be patched in a future update. But for now, my friends, I am 1000% going to go ahead and make usage of this because it basically means we're going to have infinite fuel for our auto smelter, guys. It's going to be fantastic. Honestly, it's going to be brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself some glass and then, yeah, we're going to start building around it. Okay, and then we can get the bamboo placed in and then yeah the zero tick farm is up and running so uh, this is going to be the location in which the bamboo goes uh, what we need to make sure of is the fact that uh, this isn't a sapling it needs to be like a proper normal block so there we go looking pretty cool that should go all the way over into the uh, into the uh, minecart over there uh, so what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and grab ourselves an observer uh, face it downwards so the redstone bit comes out the top uh, this will go into a block which we'll have ourselves a piece of redstone on it and then finally we will have ourselves a regular piston there and that is going to continuously fire as long as this thing is on now before going ahead and doing any of that we need to go ahead and box this in otherwise uh yeah it's just gonna like spew out everywhere and i just don't want that okay uh so let's go ahead and try to box it in as best we can Okay, and then maybe give it a roof right there. And then maybe what we could do is, you know, open this room up just a little bit here. Right, I need to go ahead and make sure that there's no, like, regular blocks inside of the uh, inside of the minecart uh, hopper here. Because I'm pretty sure there will be. Yeah, there is. Look at that. Okay, right. So, if all is well, this should work. Okay, should being the operative word. Right, I'm going to go and put another bit of glass there. And then, yeah, we should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and flip it on and see what happens. Okay, the shifting floor is going on. Um, interestingly, this isn't growing. Huh, why is that? <laughs> I'm so confused, man. What is going on? Oh, man. Okay, right. Let's go grab some uh, bamboo out of the minecart. And we're going to go ahead and build up the other one, okay? And see if that one works correctly. Alrighty, guys. So, of course, because this is a block higher, we're going to need ourselves another hopper rather like that. And then we can put the glass back in. And let's give this thing a test run. Will this work? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is working. Why was the other one not working? What? I'm really confused. The only possible explanation I have... That was a scaffolding block, by the way. The only possible explanation I have is there are too many redstone contraptions over at the farming room. And therefore, we kind of needed to get away from the redstone contraption uh, farming room type thing. Right? 
Like, ah, oh, it's so weird. Like I say, this is really, really quirky behavior, but it seems like we've got the zero tick bamboo farm going so long as we are not, like, near the redstone farming room. So, okay, uh, like I said, I, I sort of disabled this one for now. So we can go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, and then, yeah, the hopper line is maintained and all is well, basically. Oh yeah, okay, so this thing is just filling up like a crazy person now. Brilliant. All right, so once it gets to absolute full uh, minecart, it will go off and uh, unload itself to wherever it needs to go. Okay, so in just a couple seconds here, off it goes. Goodbye. Go do your thing, buddy. So one thing I've realized with this uh, minecart loader is you need eight minus the required amount or the desired amount of items you want to have in the uh, in the minecart before it sets off. So if I was to put 64 items here, it would not set off when it gets full. However, when I have 56 in there, it does. It, it's, a, it's a very specific amount. Don't ask me the workings behind it because I just don't know. But uh, yeah, here we go. Let's have a look at this. Okay, this is looking pretty all right so far. Okay, this has got good rates, and I feel like it's rates that it can actually keep up with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait here a minute, and I'm hoping what will happen is this bamboo will get to a low enough number that, you know, this thing won't all get clogged up. Because, you know, oh jeez, because that would rather suck, wouldn't it? 45, 44, 43, 42, yeah, every now and again, oh hang on, it stopped. Oh wait, no it's not. What's going on here? Oh, right, so, yeah, it's, like, replacing it at the exact same time as being siphoned out. Uh-huh. Well, whatever the case may be, guys, <laughs> we have fuel. That's fantastic. Right, let's go check on the auto smelter. 15. Okay. Might we need to speed this up a little bit? I mean, that's not even half full yet, and these ones are starting to run out of fuel. Uh-huh. I don't know, man. Alright folks, so I've gone for a pretty basic solution, which basically includes quite a lot of hoppers. So, we've got this which inputs one at a time, but then we've got a storage chest which then siphons it off two at a time, which will then go inside of the chest, well, the minecart with hopper. Why does it keep siphoning off random things? It keeps, like, for whatever reason, bringing out cacti. I'm very confused. Well, whatever the case, guys, let's go ahead and do this thing. I mean, this farm was a block higher anyway, so that enabled me to use the hoppers. So let's go ahead and give this thing a go. Okay, yep, that's looking pretty cool. So will that mean this thing fills up a little bit quicker now? It should do. It should do. It should move a little bit quicker. All right, 14. 14. Come on then, baby. Any advances on 14? Come on there. You know you want to give me some. Come on. Literally now. Come on, baby. Uh, did I mess one of these up? Is one of these facing down instead of across? Huh. Okay. Oh, no. That is doing something. Oh, there we go. 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Is it going a tiny bit quicker, though? I wouldn't like to say. Maybe if I was to go ahead and make two of these things and then just connect up the hopper lines, then yeah, maybe it will start loading up a little bit quicker. Well, guys, we've got two of these things on the go now, and well, yeah, it's getting kind of loud. We're going to have to go ahead and do something about that. So let's go and turn this one off for just a second here, and all we're going to do is go ahead and get the, the, the pushing mechanism done, and then, yeah, that'll literally be it. So yeah, let's go and do a little bit of this. So once again, observer going into a normal block with a piece of redstone on top of it, and then we've got the piston going on there, and believe it or not, that should just about be it. I think I put away all my glass, didn't I? Rather foolishly. Darn it! Oh man, okay, I kind of need the glass. Alright, and here we go. Let's go and activate this one. And does it work correctly? No. Why? Hmm. Maybe I need to take off a couple of these. And then maybe it will start doing its job. Alright, maybe this bottom one? What? What? Why you no work this time? 
Well, guys, if one isn't enough, then go ahead and make yourself a second one. Bada bing, bada boom. And these two both work. Quite why that one at the side wasn't working, I'll never know. But let's go ahead and see if the items fill up the minecart a lot quicker now. It should do. It should do. I'm hoping that it will... Oh, boy, that's... Uh, a little bit weird. Okay, right. Well, uh, you do you, Minecraft. Okay, this item filter, something seems to be wrong with it, huh? All right. Oh, God. It's, it's such a nightmare to try and uh, traverse this place. Like, I can't even get under anymore. Uh, okay, well, I should be able to just, like, pop under here if I so need to, which at this particular point, I do need to. So, yeah, the, 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 the cactus and sugar cane can only be coming from... The uh, chest up here. Oh, it's coming from this hopper up here. Right. Okay. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so this hopper is where the cactus and the sugar cane gets put in before it goes in the chest over there. Right. And then for whatever reason, it seems to go inside this chest. And when it goes inside the chest, then yeah, it goes in there. Gotcha. Oh, man, redstone is such a pain in the butt, especially when you've got limited space. Darn it, man. Well, guys, for once, a pretty painless fix. There we go. Just to direct the hoppers into a different place. And yeah, there we go. Chest is all good. And this thing seems to be filling up two at a time now, which is fan freaking tastic, guys. So actually, when it comes down to it, I don't think this needs anything doing because, yeah, the problem was sourced and troubleshooted uh, from elsewhere. So, yeah, basically... Everything's up and going now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty glad that I went ahead and did this, actually, because now we have infinite fuel for our auto smelter, and that, my friends, feels fantastic. So, there you go. Redstone technical episode for you guys. I've got to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to take as long as it did, but, you know, there's there's worse things in the world to complain about, I guess. Ah, what well, it seems to have gotten stuck. Um, is there a reason for that? Ugh. It's one thing after a bleed another, isn't it? Jeez. Ah, there we go. Go on, continue filling up. Then we're good. Yep, yep, you do your thing. Yep, there you go. It's because this was locked. Uh-huh, but now that uh, minecart up there is no longer powered. Okay, so we've got a redstone block up there this time. Is it still getting... Yeah, it's still getting through. Okay, good eye. Right, let's go ahead and take all of this out, and then we're just going to, like, dump it in there. And then, yeah, this thing should be loading up very, very quick now. And it is two at a time. All right, so check it out, guys. It is filling up nicely, isn't it? Two at a time minimum is what should always wind up happening, guys. Now, what should wind up happening as well is this should wind up getting filled up like entirely so no matter what there's always going to be at least two items at a time going on in here so what i'm going to do is i am going to go into spectator mode and then i'm going to show you guys the entire process okay so the bamboo gets sent up here okay all the way up here to a minecart unloader which has a bunch of minecart hoppers beneath it and this minecart hopper it also acts as a bit of a storage thing so no matter what this thing should be able to go back once it is emptied so give it just a second here oh man that's so quick i wish all hoppers ran that quick so that will go backwards towards the uh, bamboo to pick up some more that's the temporary storage and then basically what happens is that uh, this thing will fill up with bamboo and for whatever reason kelp I don't know why there's kelp in there, but whatever. But yeah, then it gets equally distributed amongst all of the furnaces. So yeah, guys, absolutely fantastic. It works an absolute treat. I really don't know why there's kelp in there, though. So I tell you what, let's get back down to uh, our minecart room where we were. And then, uh, yeah, we need, we need to get that sorted out. I don't know why there's kelp in there. That's very, very strange. It shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't be doing that. Uh-huh. All right, well... Open this up. Let me, uh, I mean, I'm just going to have to sort of go in, aren't I? All right. Come on, then. I be waiting. No? You don't want to come out? Okay, fair enough. Okay. Let me, let, let me, let me, let me access. Darn it. Okay, here we go. Access. Uh, uh, all right, now it's got stone in it. What? I'm so confused. So what? Is kelp a smelting resource? Huh, must be. I mean, it's it, what it's supposed to do is go ahead and be smelted, not be the smelting fuel. I'm so confused. 
What the heck's going on, bro? I just don't understand. It's so weird. But whatever the case, guys, look at that. It's an increasing amount of bamboo. So this thing is just going and going and going. And look at that. We've even got some food in there from my farms. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant. Oh, I love it. It's actually working, guys. I'm so happy to finally say that. Whew. Okay. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. All done. Fully automatic smelter with two zero tick bamboo farms powering it. Huh? That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty darn cool. So eventually, if and when we don't need this thing to run, we could just turn them off because, you know, we've got these simple turn off switches. It's all good around here, baby. Uh, I'll tell you what else will be good around here is a little bit of lighting. Always light up your redstone, guys, because these guys might spawn. Bunch of buttheads. I'm not about to have that happen, huh? There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What's going on here? Did I turn this one off? Oh, that's interesting. It, like, unpowered itself. Why would it do that? How peculiar. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. Apparently, sometimes you might have to restart it. Hmm. Never mind. Never mind, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's go and get out of here. We are done with the inner workings of this thing today, my friends. Look at that. It is looking very, very good. It is working. I'm feeling pretty good about it. So, today's comment of the day comes from Lieutenant Taco, who says, Python, you should make a volcano area somewhere in your world using crying obsidian. Oh, boy. So, if that guy was there, then that means... Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, you are not having the best of luck, are you, friend? God darn it. Well, you know, ugh, you know what they say, if you can't beat him, join him. He keeps joining the zombie side. Hmm, maybe I should call him Brain as well. Brian Brain. It's just a letter switched around. <laughs> uh, but yeah, absolutely. I would love to go ahead and take on some sort of custom terrain project. I know, for example, Pixel Rivs has his custom mountains that he's doing in his snow biome. I think... I think a, a volcano would be really, really awesome. Like, we don't even have to have an island to begin with. We could just totally custom do it. But if I was to go ahead and use a landmass, then I'm pretty sure what I would do is maybe use this one. I don't know. I want, I want that to always be visible. So maybe we actually put it over there. You know? That could be cool. Volcano build. And yeah, we should use a combination of both regular obsidian and crying obsidian. And maybe black concrete as well. I felt like all of those would work really well together. And magma blocks, of course. Oh, awesome. So, yeah. Uh, you know, same as always. Nothing is off limits with the series. If you've got a suggestion, then I'm going to write it down. And I will probably, hopefully, get to it eventually. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. That'll wrap it up for today's episode. Bit of a redstone technical episode for you. So, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, as always, a like rating would be very much appreciated. 5,000 likes would be the goal. If we could continue hitting that, that would be fantastic. It really would. Uh, but, anyways. If you ha haven't already, guys, do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future content. Ding that bell as well, so you don't miss out on the notifications as to when these go out, guys. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>